Hi, welcome to Joyful Learning. My today's topic is the living world adaptations and classification. In what different way is the diversity in living things seen? A great variety of plants is found on the earth. Some plants have colorful flowers. Some plants grow in water, whereas some are to be found in deserts, which have a scarcity of water. Some plants are found only in snowy regions. Some plants cannot be seen without a microscope, whereas some are huge in size. Like plants, animals too show diversity. Some are unicellular, other multicellular. Some are vertebrates, whereas others are invertebrates. This world is full of a variety of animals. Aquatic, terrestrial, amphibians, reptilian, aerial, etc. These observations give rise to the question, how did this great diversity come into being? Can you tell? Are the plants and animals from Kashmir and Rajasthan of the same type? Can you elaborate on any differences between the two? Coniferous trees like pine and deodar flourish in snowy regions like Kashmir. However, in deserts of Rajasthan, plants like cactus and acacia means babul are to be found. The camel, a desert animal, is not found in Kashmir. What is the reason for these differences? Adaptation Gradual changes occur in the body parts and also in the behavior of organisms which help them to adjust to their surroundings. Such changes are called adaptations. They take place over a long period of time. Adaptation in plants Observe and complete the chart. Adaptation in aquatic plants Visit various water bodies such as river, brooks, ponds, lake in your surroundings. What differences do you observe between terrestrial and aquatic plants? Some of the aquatic plants are firmly rooted in the soil at the bottom of water bodies. Their stems are submerged while leaves and flowers float on the surface. However, some plants are entirely afloat. Their roots are not anchored in the soil. The surface of leaves and stem of many aquatic plants are covered with a waxy layer. Leaves of some aquatic plants are thin and slender like a ribbon. This shape helps them to withstand fast current of water. Air spaces in stems and petals of aquatic plants are useful for floating in water. Use your brain power. First, why does water trickle off lotus leaves? Second, why don't the leaves of these plants rot in water? Third, why are their roots short and fibrous? Now, adaptation in desert plants. Try this. Take two potted plants, one a cactus, another a leafy plant. Tie plastic bags loosely around the leaves of these plants and keep them in sunlight from early in the morning. In the afternoon, bring those pots into the classroom and observe them. Has the same quantity of water collected in both bags? Desert plants are either leafless or their leaves are like small needles or have been modified into thorns. As a result, they lose very little water by evaporation. The stem stores water and food and is therefore fleshy. The stems are green as they perform 
photosynthesis in the absence of leaves their roots penetrate deep into the soil and some roots spread away into the soil in search of water there is a thick layer of waxy substances on the stems of these plants too adaptation in plants of snow ridge can you tell in what way are the sloping branches useful to plants in snowy region plants of snowy regions mainly includes conifers like deodar and pine these trees are conical in shape due to their sloping branches in the heavy snowfall and extreme cold in these regions their conical shape prevent the snow from accumulating on the trees and the thick bark help the trees to withstand the cold adaptation in plants of forest regions a variety of plants trees shrubs and herbs are found in forests these plants compete amongst themselves for sunlight hence trees grow tall to get sunlight and climbers and vines grow to a great height with the support of trees spring slide tendrils on the stem of some climbers is the example of adaptations adaptation in grassland plants diverse type of bushes and grasses are found in grasslands fibrous roots of grasses prevent soil erosion forest in equatorial region are dense animals like tigers elephant and deer can remain hidden in these grasses however grasses in cold regions are very short animals like the rabbit are found in such grasses wasps meadows are found in hilly area as well as plains observe and discuss note down the adaptation in the part of plants like potato groundnut yam water hyacinth aloe acacia carrot onion beet bitter gourd grab wine etc and other plant in your surroundings adaptation for ingestion of food in plants most of the plants are anchored in the ground and are autotrophic however plants like dudder cascuta are parasitic the plant body of dudder consists of yellow wire like stems it is leafless and cannot perform photosynthesis however it has hostorial shucking root for absorbing nutrients from the host plant these roots penetrate up to the conducting vessel of host plant to absorb water and food fungi do not have chlorophyll and cannot perform photosynthesis they obtain food from starchy food stuff like bakri and bread they have root like fibers for absorption of food plants need nitrogen phosphorus and potassium for growth plants that grow in soil which is deficient in nitrogen like drosera venus flytrap pitcher plant etc fulfill their need for nitrogen by consuming insects adaptations are seen in these plants which serve to attract insects and hold them captive so in this way first part of this chapter is completed thank you